Alright, what up, Who That Nation? This is No Cap, No Filter Saints. I'm your host, Marley G. And there was some breaking news that had happened earlier, and I'm just getting around to share my thoughts on it. Cornerback J.C. Jackson from the Chargers has been traded to the Patriots. Man, J.C. Jackson is a talented cornerback. He just got broke off with a nice contract from the Chargers, but for whatever reason, things ain't been working out. The dude has been a healthy scratch. He wasn't even playing. What, for whatever reason, things just wasn't working out between him and the organization, and they traded him to the Patriots. J.C., he's a real talented cornerback, and he also played for the Patriots earlier in his career. And during his time with the Patriots in that scheme, the man had 22 picks. So the man is no scrub by any stretch of the, mag of the imagination. Now, you know, Patriots, they don't really like to pay players. <laughs> Once a player feel like, you know, they need to get paid, the Patriots will do, do away with you. That's just how the organization work. Um, but they have them right before the Saints play them, of course. It just seems like it never fails. Like, anytime it's a big-time player or, you know, a, a, a real good player that can make a change, they always just get healthy before the Saints in just in the nick of time or to get traded right before the Saints, just in the nick of time. We seen it last week. Well, not last week, but last year with uh, Raekwon Smith from the Bears to the Ravens, and that man caused us havoc that game. I think they would have still won even without Raekwon Smith. We was so banged up, and, you know, the Ravens are just a good team, you know, especially when Lamar Jackson is on the field. But, yeah, man, he, he really gave us fits. So, you know, they're doing this because what happened with Christian Gonzalez and it's already, you know, he already know the system and the scheme. So I I would imagine, you know, he's going to be out there starting. Um, I don't know who he's going to, you know, follow, whether it's going to be Olave or whether it's going to be Michael Thomas. I'm not sure how Bill want that matchup, but he's going to be out there nine less and, you know, that's somebody that I'm sure Pete going to have to do some type of game planning for, you know, he's going to have to tweak whatever plans that he had some some sort of way, somehow. But either way, Pete got to really show show his ass because, you know, Elvin Kamara, the dude had 11 rushes, averaged 4.6 yards a carry for 51. Like, it's no way that man shouldn't have had at least 10 more carries. And what are you, what are you drafting our running back for that's a rookie if you're not going to play him. Like, we should have ran way more on that team, bro. Way more. And a lot of people were saying, oh, he he's not a Derrick Henry type. Stop running him up the middle. He can't run up the middle. Like, Elvin Kamara could do everything. That man could catch out the backfield, run up the middle. He could run uh, toss plays. He could do screens. He could do everything. He could do everything Christian McCaffrey could do. Christian McCaffrey just a little faster. But the thing is, now he has, you know, weapons around him where well, the, the defense is just don't have to stack the box and just focus in on him. Now he has a quarterback that could throw the ball out there that could, you know, make defense don't have to just, you know, play play the sticks. You know, they they they, they, they got to respect Derrick Carr on. Like him or not, you're going to have to respect his arm. You'll have to respect Jameis on. And all that benefits AK. So I just hope that Pete Carmichael could do something with this. Pete Carmichael's on the high seat. Dennis Allen said he's not making any changes. Um, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to just go ahead on and say it. You know, that I say, would it be different if Pete Carmichael was black and Ronald Curry was white? I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I hate the... I had to be that guy. I had to bring race into it, but it just kind of makes you wonder. You know, would you go with the with the young, you know, hungry, you know, white coordinator, or would you stay with the old black, quote unquote, outdated offense? The the game has, you know, gone past him. Uh, black coordinator. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And a lot of people think our offense is outdated. I don't think the offense is outdated. I, I I just think the play calling is bad. I think the routes that are getting drawn up and designed are bad. You know, you're not putting your players in the best position to succeed. 
you know as a coordinator as a coach as a leader you got to put your players in the best position to succeed you got to get the ball in your playmakers hands and that's what's not going on i don't think the offense is outdated i just think we don't make the right play calls in situational football when it's third and long we throw it to the we do short passes when it's when it's third and short we do long passes when it's second and ten we always run the ball like we, we, we just it p carmichael just predictable and the, the the route designs are just crazy i don't i don't really think i'm not buying that the offense is outdated you know yeah they got a lot of other teams doing more motion than us i do believe that we do need to do more motion and i definitely believe we need to run the ball more to establish play action we never do play action and in 2021 Derek hall was one of the best quarterbacks when it come to play action even uh jam is good when it come to play action we don't do play action we don't do play action we didn't fired our tight ends coach and now all of a sudden we don't do tight end routes to the middle of the field immediate routes we don't never do that now maybe the game plan would have been different if Jawan would have never got hurt but i'm not buying that you couldn't have still did that same stuff with jimmy yeah jimmy ain't as dynamic as Jawan, but i'm not buying that he couldn't have you know just filled right in in that role and had some type of reduction you know so oh yeah we got jc jackson and that's gonna be somebody we're gonna have to deal with on the defense but on the offense these people lack skilled players like these people lack speed these people lack playmaking ability home run hitting ability i really think that and like i said they're, they're the second in the league in red zone trips after pittsburgh so it's like if we lose this game that's definitely on coaching because we way more talented than talented to this team now when it comes to Bel belichick and da belichick is a better coach but i still think you know if we lose this game we might as well just crown the bucks the division winners at this point because i just i i, I don't see no hope for it making making a change or a turnaround and if they do make a turnaround it's gonna be too late we're gonna be in a hole that we can't climb out of so let me know what you guys think down below. And if you like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe.